These days, we have all sorts of technological tools. We have MRIs, we have CAT scans, we've got all these different blood tests. What is really the forgotten art is the history and physical. And the Caprini score is nothing more than a good history and physical, where all the risk factors for blood clots are enumerated and then put together in a score to determine what the patient needs for protection for them to be safe and not suffer a fatal blood clot. The Caprini score ideally should be first collected by the patient. When you go to the dentist, you have to fill in your health history. Why not when you go to your surgeon? Following that, then you go to the hospital and that the form can be checked, certain items can be checked, and then that, that can be the initial score. But it's not the end of the road. The Caprini score is dynamic. And as the hospitalization goes along, people oftentimes, unfortunately, develop infection. They need central lines. They get pneumonia. They have to be reoperated. All of those things increase the risk of blood clots. So then by the time you go home, there should be a final tally. And that final tally then used to calculate whether or not you need ongoing anticoagulants for your protection for blood clots, especially during the first month after surgery.